Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I did a foundation routine that, you know, that I do every single day and I want to apologize because I didn't do an intro video. So yeah, if you want to know how I cover my acne and how I do my routine, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first thing you want to start with is with a clean face and I'm using this Olay Oil Minimizer Toner because uh, even though you wash your face, your face is still pretty dirty. Uh, so I'm using this to clean it and to reduce oil all over my face. Ew, that's disgusting. See? Now apply your favorite moisturizer. Use whatever you have. Uh, I've been using this for years and I really like it. <laughs> Before I do anything on my foundation, I like to do my eyebrows first. Now I'm going to apply Flower Cosmetics from Drew Barrymore. She came out with a new line and I'm using SF1. So what I'm doing here, I am contouring my face and I'm just starting with a lighter shade on my face. Pretty much lighter than my natural skin color. got another foundation stick also by Drew Marymore and the company is called Flower Beauty and I'm using a color darker than my skin tone and I'm going to apply this on the hollows on my cheeks pretty much where I want the place to be more darker so I can have some definition on my face so this is part of contouring <laughs> Here I'm going to use a beauty blender. Uh, you can use any sponge that you like. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is just blend the lightest color in so it won't look so harsh and that way it looks more natural looking. Even though we're not going to look natural at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, suck it up you Winnie, you can do it. Keep blending. Okay, so now we're blending the darkest colors. Be really careful with this. Make sure that you blend it really well because it's a pretty dark color. Just blend really, really, really well so it's almost visible, but don't take it all away. Now it's time for foundation and I'm using the Flower Beauty, also by Drew Barrymore in LF5. And I'm going to use the same a sponge and I'm just going to put some foundation on the back of my hand, blow it a little bit, I like it when it's really flat on my hand, pat it on with the sponge and just pat it on the face. Do not rub it around, just keep patting it all over the face. That way it covers every imperfection that you got. Sorry about that kiddo back there. <laughs> He's just so silly. Here I'm using a cream bronzer and I've never used a cream bronzer. I decided to use it for the first time and I'm using the HL3 and it's also by Drew Barrymore and I'm going to use my sponge to blend it out since we're working with creams. using a highlighting pen or a brightening concealer and I'm gonna put this where pretty much with the sun hits your face just to highlight it and make you look more awake more alive and not so bronzy and pale all in one color so 
yeah so I'm just gonna apply this all over my face and then blend it out with my sponge it's time to set our foundation and everything that we just applied and I'm using a foundation powder and it's on PP2 powder trip I'm going to apply this all over my face and also don't forget the neck area all right so I'm using a tan professional blush palette and I'm going to mix those two colors together and I'm going to pat it first on the face and then pretty much blend it out I'm using another cream stick also by flower beauty and pretty much this is a highlighter and in HL2 and I'm going to apply this right on my cheekbone just to highlight and give myself a little bit of shine since I'm really matte right now So yes, ladies, this is how I do my foundation when I really need to go out really fancy somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And remember, love of beauty is taste. The creation of beauty is art. Thank you so much and good luck.